can you tell us about your team's journey to the final? Our team's journey to the final. Um, we played Stourbridge in the first round. Um, I think we beat them 6-1. Um, for a lot, for long spells of the game, it was quite quite tight. But in the end, we um, won quite convincingly. Next round, I think was Redditch United just before Christmas. Beat them one 0 Horrible night on a horrible pitch at the time. Uh, one one nil. Um, tight game again. Um, but we were pleased to get through that. Um, we went to Rugby Town, who are Rugby Town Juniors, who are a really good side. Uh, great game. Um, really had to work hard to get a result in that game. Um, they're a good side, well organised, great people that run them, and um, we're pleased to get through that then. Um, we beat Burton Albion in the semis 1-0. Really good game. I think we thoroughly deserved it, but again, a really competitive, tough encounter. And we're on to tonight, which we're really looking forward to. What preparation have you as manager made for today's game? Um, I think generally we work with a group as a lot of people might know, and they may not. We work with them day in, day out a lot of the time, you know. So we're, we're forever preparing for the next game and the next game. So we haven't really kind of designated all we're in a final. Yes, we're respecting it and it's great, but we do, we do what we do and we just get on with what comes our way so we're really like I said it's going to be a really tough evening really one to look forward to and we're here we're here so let's play and finally how are you feeling about today's game I'm really looking forward to it as a football match to be fair um, as, I want us to win don't get me wrong I want the lads to win more than me because I'm not really really interested about winning and losing and things like that I'm more worried about development and how they play and how their journeys are and the, the group have come such a long way together and as individuals and I just want them to enjoy it. If we win, great. If we lose, we lose well. But hey Maria, so we might as well go and win the thing. Can you tell us about your team's journey to the final? Yes, well we started off with a 4-0 win away at Dudley Sports. Um, we beat uh, Bedworth. Um, we also beat Nuneaton Griff 3-0 uh, away. Um, so as you can see from that, we haven't conceded many goals along the way and scored quite a lot. What preparation has your team made for today's game? Just normal preparation. We're in most days of the week, we're in most afternoons, um, working on the technical, tactical side of things, um, and really kept it as, as, as normal as we possibly can leading into, into big games. And finally, how are you feeling about today's game? I think this might be the hardest game that we've, we've had all season. We play men's football most of the time, um, but I've watched Romulus. Romulus are a good side. They've took some league scalps this year in the FA Youth Cup, um, and it'll be a good test for us. Thank you. All right.
How does it feel to get man of the match in the County Cup final? Really happy, but today I think it was all about the team performance, and pulling through together and getting the result. What was your highlight as captain of the match? The highlight was just the end. After, as soon as the final whistle went, all of us put 110% in and celebrations are waiting for us. Can you sum up your County Cup experience? It's been a long hard season, midweek games, Saturday games, but we've, we've come through and we've won it. Uh, what can you achieve next season after today's result? Um, quite a lot really, I mean this was just the cherry on the top of a great season all round. It's about development for us but winning things is, is the top of that. <laughs> Unfortunately we're going to miss guys like Liam next year but we've got loads of first years coming through and I think it's a real good run in the FA Youth Cup which we were disappointed to go out earlier on but um, challenging in this trophy as well and most importantly getting two or three of the lads into the first team squad which we've also done so far this year so more to come from the lads. Perfect, thank you. Martin, cheers.